Aujourd'hui à Motomag, on vous emmène faire une belle randonnée du côté de la Floride. Quelque chose de pas compliqué. On part de Fort Lauderdale, on emprunte la AEA et la 1 jusqu'à Daytona. Mais avant de partir, ça nous prend des motos. On va aller chercher deux motos qui nous sont commanditées par la compagnie Victory. Merci beaucoup. Alors, je suis avec Walt Jacobowski et il va nous prêter les motos Victory aujourd'hui. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Now, let's talk about the Victory bikes. You've been a dealer for uh, four or five years? For four years, I think? Uh, four years, that's correct. Okay. Huh? What made you choose that brand? Well, we've been in the motorcycle industry for over 40 years. And uh, when the Victory came along, we've been watching it since its inception. It's been an incredible bike. And as they got uh, into the O2 uh, models, O3 models, We knew this was the move we had to make if we were going to stay in the industry because it's it's obviously the trend of the way it's going to go. And what do you like about the brand, the the the, the, the look? The, well, what made you choose that? You know, it, it's very basic. Uh, you got to have a motorcycle that stops corners and accelerates very well. Then if you put the styling behind it that this bike has, it's a winning combination. <laughs> you believe in your brand, that's good. Yes, we do. <laughs> And tell us about the reliability of those bikes, because that's a major point, eh? Yes, in 02 they came out with the uh, Freedom engine, uh, and it's a uh, derivative of the early engines that we had. However, this bike, this engine is absolutely the most maintenance-free engine I've seen. It's uh, incredible. Uh, we only have to have one tech, per se, and we sell hundreds of bikes, because all we ever do is oil changes or add accessories to the bike. It's that reliable. And there's two ways to cool the engine, air and liquid? Well, actually, it's, uh, yeah, you could say it's two ways, but it's actually air, oil, cool. Uh, if you're in motion, of course, the air uh, is going to help cool it down with the cooling fins, but also has uh, oil cooling. And the oil cooling is a separate uh, pump system and a separate uh, independent system of the lubricating system. And uh, as a result of that, You can start this bike on the hottest day of the year, just let it sit there and idle and it really won't overheat on you. Okay. So it's very unlike a, a, just a straight oil cool or correction air cooled engine. 